Hey there friends and enemies, Jopo here again and we got some wild news on the Overwatch 2 front today as they gave us a roadmap for seasons 5, 6, 7 and beyond as well as the announcement and confirmation that PvE in Overwatch 2 is officially dead. Now this is a major bummer to me personally as a fan of PvE and PvP activities in video games and after what they had originally announced all the way back in 2019, I had hopes that this would be something really cool as a nice addition to the game and really was the major reason that we saw Overwatch go from base Overwatch to Overwatch 2. Unfortunately, as time went on, it looked like this was going to be in major trouble. We were going to have issues with PvE as it got delayed from the launch of Overwatch 2 and there was no definitive time frame for it coming out. And when they originally announced it, it sounded uh, PvE sounded really cool. We had ability trees, we had different modes and story missions and all this kind of cool stuff that would give us a way to play Overwatch 2 a little bit differently. Now, a lot of people were skeptical because it seemed like they could just do what they do with the current seasonal activities and add like a PvE mode into just a PvP base. But the hope was that the PvE would actually be something substantial and allow people to play as their favorite characters, get these juiced up cool abilities, play through missions together, co-op with their friends, and really have a good time with things that'll be a bit longer than just your couple minutes of PvE stuff that we get now with your seasonal activities. So for me personally, like I said, major bummer. I think it the writing was on the wall that this was going to happen sooner or later after all of the delays and the information that just wasn't coming out about this mode. But it still sucks. And, and I'm really frustrated because, again, why did we get Overwatch 2 without the PV, PvE? They should have just continued on with Overwatch 1 and just kept updating it. Now we got so much wasted time because the whole thing they said is they were pulling developers from Overwatch 1 PvP to the PvE aspect because they wanted to make Overwatch 2 feel unique. And that's why we didn't get a lot of content on Overwatch 1 for a long period of time. When in reality, we could have just gotten all this content that we're getting now on the PvP side a lot sooner. And that's really where it sucks. I applaud them a little bit for trying something, but... To announce this all the way back in 2019 and for it to be canceled now in 2023 is kind of crazy four years later because it really just feels like four years of wasted time. And I don't know if Overwatch will ever fully recover from this. Not saying Overwatch won't always be a popular game because I think it will be. A lot of people are going to love this game forever. But... Overwatch might have missed the chance to really reinvigorate itself and become the massive game that it once was down the line. And that's really where the difference lies. Overwatch will always be popular, but will it be the king of the mountain again like we saw it in the past? And I don't think so, and that's really unfortunate. Now, as far as the roadmap goes, there are some interesting things to look out for. There's like seasonal events. Season 5, we have uh, what's called Quest Watch. We've got Mischief and Magic, a cinematic reveal, Summer Games, 5v5 mini comp season, which could be cool, but we'll see how they handle that. And it's got On Fire Returns, and then a Creator Workshop Mode. That's really where Overwatch could get interesting if they allow more uh, opportunities in the hands of people to get creative with what you're doing on the player side. I could really like that, but we'll see how that goes. Then Season 6, we got Story Missions, a new support hero. Another support hero is kind of crazy too, right? It's We just got Life Weaver, and now we're getting another support hero in Season 6 as well. I'm not so sure about that. I understand not really doing another tank because there's only one tank per team now, but I really would have liked to see a DPS character instead. We've got Flashpoint Hero Mastery, which I think a lot of players who are one tricks who really main a single character will like that. But for everybody else, it might be a, a grind that's not really pursued. Can, but at least it's adding something for people to chase. And I think you always need something for people to kind of a carrot that's dangling in front of them. You also got a firing range, player progression system, o Overwatch anniversary, and much more. Season 7 Beyond, we got new tank hero. So that's... Uh, 
I mean, it says Season 7 and beyond. We'll see if the Tank Hero comes in Season 7. But a uh, new collaboration event, LTM. New control map, new winter event, new hero mastery missions, multiplayer, uh, Roadhog rework, which I think a lot of people are looking forward to because he's kind of hard to balance around right now. He's either way too strong or not strong enough. Fan favorite modes return, cinematic debuts, competitive mystery heroes returns. That could be interesting. I would I would play a little competitive mystery heroes just for shenanigans. A lore codex. And then a Sombra rework. So if we're looking in order, if all that's launching in order, it looks like Season 7 will probably have the Tank Hero, the Collaboration Event, uh, Control Map, Winter Event, etc. Maybe the Hero Mastery Missions uh, and potentially Roadhog rework, but that might be pushed out to Season 8. So uh, the only things we know are what's confirmed for Season 5 and 6. And ultimately, this roadmap looks fine. I think there's a lot to be excited about uh, on the roadmap a little bit like there are things that sound cool in general but i just don't know if there's anything that's really going to propel this game into like we're seeing the return of a lot of people to csgo with the launch of cs2 uh and that's a missed opportunity for overwatch in my opinion to generate the same spark that they did it's it's a game that could potentially be on those heights again that we were missing, that we've been waiting for for some time. And I'm not saying PvE would have put it up there, but I think either PvE being added to the game in that way might have provided at least something. But if not, like they, you sh they should have cut their losses a long time ago once they realized it wasn't working because it feels like so much wasted time, energy, and effort that has just put this game on a track that I don't know if they're going to fully ever recover from. And it's really unfortunate. Overwatch is a fun game. It's a game that I think has still immense potential in the space, especially if you add on different modes, if you make things a little bit different. Like, again, if they, instead of, <laughs> instead of doing PvE, if they had done something different, like uh, big team battles, like may imagine a 10v10 version of Overwatch just as a limited time mode or something like that, you know, added something really crazy to make it uh, a lot more fun and unique and test things out to see how it works. I think that would have been a good time, and that, I'm not saying necessarily the big team battle, ne like specifically, but just getting creative with the new content and that's really what's missing from overwatch right now and i hope they fix that going forward because i would love to see the rise of overwatch again in the future and i want to have a reason to really stick with the game continue grinding and really enjoying my time with it but it looks like it's not going to be that for the foreseeable future which is a major bummer anyway my name is jopa i hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel it helps me out tremendously i'm on the road to youtube partner on this channel so thank you guys so much for the support my name is jopa i hope you have a good one and i'll catch you all later